In this example, you just had a 34 hour reset, so you've got your full hours back for a new cycle. Let's say you start your day and do an hour on duty. After that, you get into your truck and drive for another five hours, and then decide to take your short break for two hours off duty. So you've done six hours on duty or driving time, and then paused your workday clock. For your first workday, you've got eight hours of time for your 14 hour day and six hours of driving time left. But here's where it gets interesting. Once you finish up your short break, you also start your second workday. So any driving or working you do is going to count against your next day as well. Let's say you drive another four hours and then you wrap up your first workday and take your eight hour break in the sleeper. Once you take that long break in SB status, your first workday is finished with 10 hours of on-duty and driving time, and your second workday is paused with 4 hours already taken out of it. When your workday starts up again after the long break, you'll be working on the second part of your second workday, as well as the first part of your third workday. This pattern will continue over and over for all of the workdays until you take a full 10 hour break. Since this would be considered a long break, it should be done in sleeper. Once this 10 hour break is over, you can start back again on workday one and will not be juggling two workdays until you start the next split. 